Athena, we're each going to get a selected card. This will be my card. It's going to be easy to remember. It's Ace of Spades, right? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my guy, put it right here in my pocket. All right. Now I'd like you to go ahead and select any one of the 52 or 51 now. So, uh, and let's, uh, I'll go ahead and take that. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and show it to the camera so everybody sees what it is. It is the 10, 10 of diamonds, Athena. So you have the 10 of diamonds over here in my pocket right here. Guess what I have? I have the 10 of diamonds too. And then to check out what's on the table, there's our ace of spades. Okay, I'd like to start out by talking about the publishing history of the book, uh, giving some details on that, and then we'll go from there on to some of the mysteries that the book have gener has generated over the years. In 1902, one could not adver advertise a, a book on how to cheat at cards in the mainland, uh, mainstream uh, uh, press at that time, magazines or uh, newspapers, but you could advertise something that taught uh, card tricks, uh, magician's card tricks. So it become kind of a, a cover story uh, that uh, dealers and advertising uh, could be uh, focusing on the magic part uh, when in fact you were really selling to uh, people to how to cheat at cards. <laughs> 